What is good to self family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock and do some in depth technical analysis on where I see the share price going for tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys my price prediction. I'm also going to talk about what's going on with the news as we are seeing some very good moves by Tesla and also what Kathy Wood, the queen Kathy Wood, just did that involves Tesla as she is buying the dips left and right. And that's a very good sign. I'm also going to end the video by talking about what Elon Musk just said on his Twitter. That's very awesome news for us investors because we are seeing some improvement in Shanghai. Now, before I break any of this down, before I talk about why I'm still quite bullish for Tesla for the long term and give you guys my price prediction, I do have to mention a couple of things real quick. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Tesla community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any any amount of money into the account you are guaranteed six free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and you can always sell these six free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some tesla shares for free in this limited time offer that ends in just two weeks so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at tesla we're up over 7.43 percent for the day let's go we're looking a lot stronger and we are seeing a lot of improvement in the overall market which is a pretty darn good sign now does this mean that we're in a, going to be in a temporary bull market well we'll have to see how we actually react for next week and the week after to really figure that out but as of right now the spy is trying to make these uh higher lows and we are starting to see this upward trend perpetuating since it's been so oversold over the last couple of days i mean if you look at what this thing did we're, we're respecting this upward trend we're pushing even higher than many expectations came out to be and if you look at the last like three months for instance there's been so much downside without any really really good moves to the upside i mean look at the last like eight weeks for instance just red 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 and finally we're getting a nice balance it's about time and the spy is definitely improving now when it comes to tesla we have to look at the overall market if you look at the nasdaq too uh, let me find where i have the nasdaq once again the Nasdaq is also green and Tesla's positive beta is also showing. The Nasdaq does have this like gap that's like at around, what is this? Uh, 11,929. And I do think this gap is going to get filled. So I do believe that there is a little bit more room run. I'm sorry, there's more room for Tesla to run uh, going into the future and the overall market. So we're not necessarily at the peak just yet. So in my opinion, I am a little bit more on the bullish side for the next upcoming weeks. But before we get there, I need to talk about tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a little bit different. Now, I, I'm sure you guys know that on Monday, it's Memorial Day and the market's going to be closed. And typically during these long weekends, the market gets a bit of a sell-off. So I do think that's very likely to happen for tomorrow. And I do think it's going to kind of push Tesla a little bit down. Now, I'm not saying Tesla's going to crash. And I do think we're at a very key zone right now above 700. I'd like to see a close above 700 for this thing to remain consistent. But regardless of what happens today, I do think that tomorrow, or I'm sorry, next week should be a, a lot better and the week after should be pretty darn good for Tesla and we will continue to move to the upside based off the trend we're seeing and based off the improvement in the SPY and the NASDAQ. So this is what I predict is going to happen. Let's look at some technical indicators real quick. Uh, when you look at this from the RSI and MACD perspective, what you're seeing is we're seeing this nice spike. Just look at the RSI and MACD from the bottom. Just ignore these lines. I know it's kind of crazy, but RSI is picking up. That's looking a lot better. We got a signal line flipping with the MACD showing some bullish momentum now forming for Tesla, and it's looking a lot better. We're seeing stronger candles. That's a very, very good sign. If you look at this from, let me see, my 1348 EMA uh, perspective, we can see right here, we're about to get that nice crossover, which is a good, good, good sign for Tesla once again. Once again, we're looking pretty good right now. So I'm going to close everything now and talk about what do I see happening from my prediction. So if you look at what I predicted yesterday, I predicted we'd actually close very close to 700, maybe a little below that. We ended up actually closing above that at 707 and going one range higher than I predicted. So that's a good sign. We're looking a lot better, but I do think we need to have a bit of a cool off day for tomorrow. So what I would anticipate is this. Tesla is doing something it typically does. We get a nice push during the first like hour or two. And then after that, we get a bit of a sell off a little bit later. So I think we're going to have something very similar happening on Friday. And sorry, before I point that out, I need to call out something. So if we if we end up dropping on Friday, OK, remember this, we have some support at 700. If that doesn't hold us, 680 is support zone. Then we have 653. 
and then 633 as the key support zones. If we push up, we have some resistance at 719, maybe like 718, and also 732 and 752 followed by 776 dollars so those are the key zones to be looking out for but right now the trend looks pretty bullish but right now i don't necessarily predict that we're just going to start flying to the absolute moon instantly i think there is some room for uh, a little bit of downside momentum and i do think we're going to see that so let me uh, switch over to the five minute i think that's a lot better for when i draw this out this is what i think is going to happen let me go a little back okay so I think going into opening, when the market opens, I don't think Tesla is going to push up too hard. I think we could go up as high as like 1% or 2% for the day when it comes to our uh, bullish move. So I'm anticipating a slight push to the upside. We're going to have resistance at 719. I think we're going to break past it. We might get rejected off 732. I mean, if that doesn't if that's not like the place where we get rejected, I would expect it's more likely for us to get rejected off 7 uh 50 around 750 but i don't think we're gonna go that high we'd have to be up six percent but it's a friday so it's less likely so i think we're gonna get a nice push for the first like 30 minutes to maybe hour or so it's about 732 733 and then we're, we're going to get a slight rejection trade a little bit sideways in this range and then just slowly kind of eat away at these gains as the day goes on and as we see a bit of a sell-off in the markets and i think tesla is going to fight to stay above 700 i think that's the very key zone maybe we'll push below it we'll kind of like trade like this and i'm going to be optimistic i think we're going to push pretty strongly at the very end and we're going to manage to close just barely at 700 maybe a little bit above that so i'd predict maybe a 701 close and i could be completely wrong it is possible for anything to happen since the market can be unpredictable but this is essentially what i'm predicting i predict a nice move in the opening followed by some downside that continues in the whole market i think the market might sell off a little bit more than tesla but i do think we're going to hold up pretty darn well and we are going to be in a good place for the next upcoming weeks so my sentiment for the next next few weeks is bullish for the long term there will be a little bit more downside for the next like couple i would say like you know two or three months from now we're not necessarily at our final phase but for the long term i'm still very 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 bullish i do see tesla hitting many thousands of dollars a share and i do think we're in a temporary relief rally and tesla is going to start soaring to the 800 dollar range perhaps within the next like week or two but as of right now friday obviously a long weekend and we should see a bit of a sell-off in my opinion now looking at other pieces of news tesla has delivered mega packs to new bitcoin mining facility and that's a very good piece of news in my opinion because tesla is putting its hands in different projects out there that are actually improving it not only in a way where it's putting its hands in new technology but it's investing in technology that's going to be big for the future too because as bitcoin becomes more profitable tesla will make more money and this in turn goes to show that their new ventures into a multi-trillion dollar market could be another good step for the future as they are also accepting crypto. To me, very, very good move. It's improving not just their fundamentals in a way, but it's also improving how much they could actually improve for the future. So very, very cool piece of news. It's very good that they're adopting new ways to actually mine these different cryptocurrencies. And considering how big they're going to be for the future, it's a very good step in the right direction, in my opinion. Now, Another big piece of news is this, and this has been making headlines. If I go to what this is saying, Kathy Wood buys the dip on Tesla, Zoom, and Roku stocks. So once again, amazing piece of news. I think it actually discloses how much somewhere around here. And you can see she bought, I think, like 28 million. I don't know where it says it, but $28 million worth of Tesla shares. Once again, it says it right here very very good moves in my opinion kathy Wood is now buying the dips again which means that she thinks that tesla is going to start pushing up relatively soon she did i'm sorry she did end up selling a part of her position when tesla was actually dropping and it appears like she bought the dips a couple of days ago and even like uh yesterday right and now we're seeing that she bought 28 million dollars worth of tesla shares now she doesn't just sell tesla shares for no reasons there are times where she might sell some and then buy some the next couple of days and buy more and obviously the media likes to just make big headlines based off this but right now the bottom line is she's buying more right now as of right now and she's expecting the share price to start going up now i want to remind you she doesn't just buy stocks and then hold them for like 20 years she's doing that to some degree but at the same time there are going to be days where she sells a little bit buys a little more sells more like 
it goes back and forth, right? She buys and sells them all the time. But her buying this much right now is a good sign that she will be holding for them pro probably the next two weeks or so. She may sell more a little bit later if Tesla does start to drop in, in a couple of weeks. But as of right now, it's, it's a very good sign that Tesla is going to start pushing up. And I do think that this is a very, very good move and some good news for Tesla investors. Now, when it comes to the whole Shanghai uh, situation, right? Obviously, there are big lockdowns in China. The situation, I, I mean, I would presume it's kind of improving, but it's not necessarily in the best of states. But despite that, despite the fact that we're still seeing all these things going on, drone, uh, there's drone, there was a drone flyover, excuse me, footage over Tesla's big facilities. And we can see right over here, there are more shipments coming in. So what Tesla is essentially doing is they know that their production kind of slowed down. So instead of giving up, there, there's this new quote, Giga Shanghai is coming back with a vengeance, okay? And the Giga Factory is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on. And what they're planning on doing is building a new battery facility next to it so that they could improve their production means. So Elon Musk tweeted, I have so much respect for the Tesla Shanghai team. He also liked and I think he retweeted this. So it's a massive, massive move in my opinion as they're improving the Giga Factory in Shanghai. And in turn, once production is back, it's going to start improving very, very well for many years to come. So it's not the end of the world. If you stay strong and stay patient, things are going to be good. So what's my long-term outlook for Tesla? I think that we're going to see a temporary relief rally for the next few weeks. Then there will be more downside, in my opinion, a little bit later, perhaps by the time we get to mid-June, maybe by July or August, there will be a one last major, major dip. And then finally, if you just wait the next couple of months, maybe it'll take four months, six months, once we bottom out, there's going to be a big recovery and Tesla will be back to the 1200s, 1300s, 1400s, 2000s, much, much, much higher levels for the long term. So with that out of the way, I do think we're kind of starting this bullish rally. And I do think that there might be some red for tomorrow, but it's going to be OK. We're going to recover. We're doing fine. So don't let this get to you. Stay strong. And I will see you guys in the next one. Tesla to the moon and peace out.